welcome back. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, welcome back, man. Uh, just surfing the web, man. There has been another train derailment, man. This is it's a it's a lot of train derailments taking place, man. Um, we had one out of um this was like three days ago out of uh, Minnesota a train derail. Uh, let's see let's see what this one says. This is out of the where is this at? This is out of uh, uh, BBC. It says um. Um, railways cars carrying ethanol and corn syrup came across the rails at um, 1 o'clock local time or 6 GMT. The fire continued to burn around eight hours later. Officials said four more cars carrying ethanol may spill. So this was in um, Minnesota, man, and... Then it says the EPA said they had official officials on the scene around 6.30 monitoring air quality and four cars containing ethanol, highly flammable product, ruptured, caught fire, and continued to burn. Man, this is a... I don't know what's going on, but there's a, a, a lot of uh, these rail cars, man, derailing. And then we have... Um... um Another train derailment, and this is out of um, Montana. It says, train derails 25 cars in Montana spilling unconfirmed content. It said, at least 25 cars derailed from a train in, in Montana on Sunday spilling their content into the ground into a near body of water. This is why you always got to have some kind of emergency water or bottled water on hand. This is becoming a common thing, these trains derailment. And it says the train that derailed in um, Minnesota, within that five years, they had 60 train derailments in Minnesota, in that area. Or excuse me, not in that area, in Minnesota itself. 60 times train, it was a train derailment. It says in the past five years, there has been, been over 60 train derailments in Minnesota, according to the CBS News to the CBS News. So I'm, I'm going to switch over back over to um, to Montana. But yeah, out in Minnesota, man, it, these trains are derailing everywhere. And like I said, which state um, which state doesn't have trains, uh, um, these cargo trains coming through? So it says um First, first responder says there is no threat to the public, which they always going to say that, but there has yet to be a confirmation about what the effect containers were carrying. Montana Rail Link, which owns the railroad, is aware of the situation, but the company that owns the train has yet to be identified, according to NBC Montana. Sanders County Sheriff of Office did not respond to multiple requests for comment. And then they have one here, and he's showing it says around 9.20 a.m. calls came into the Sanders County Sheriff Office. And if you, I'm going to leave the link where you can um, actually look at this article right here. And it said it was like this article, this train was, I guess it was trying to go into the uh, the tunnel. And they were saying some kind of safety device may have um, may have uh, led to the derailment. That's what they're saying. But I'll leave the link. And then I'm looking at this other article right here. It says, train that derailed, derailed in Alabama lack alignment control couplers, according to the federal investigation. So this is back to, um, they said a Norfolk Southern train that derailed in Alabama early this month lacked, this is another one. Nor this is a uh, Norfolk Southern train that derailed in Alabama early this month lacked 
required alignment control couplers for two of its locomotives and the company inspection did not identify these, excuse me, identify their absence, federal investigators said Monday. I mean, these train companies, man, got to be held accountable for all this chemicals they're spilling, man. Then we just had another uh, train uh, derail, and they don't even know what what's in it, what what content is in it. They're spilling ethanol, they're spilling diesel fuel. Um, yeah, man, you want to make sure that you have bottled water. But this it's a it is a, a lot of trains derailing around the U.S., man, and half of the trains that are derailing they're not reporting on it. This is just bad, man. Every time you turn around, there's another train derailment. More train derailments. And then, um, this is out of, um, it was saying, um, the CD, CDC team, it said the CDC team got sick while investigating health risks from Ohio toxic train derailment. So this is another news article um, saying that the CDC team that came in was trying to investigate it. They got sick from the toxic chemicals. And they don't they don't know the long term effect that it's going to have on the environment or to the people around in that in that in that area. You don't know if they're going to develop some uh, sort of cancer. Any You don't know what's going on. And it says a team of several U.S. government investigators fell ill while studying the health impacts of the February derailment of train carrying toxic chemicals through East Palestine, Ohio, according to the CDC. The group included members of the Ep Epidemic Intelligence Service were going house to house serving town residents near the contaminated areas when they began feeling symptoms including sore throat, headache, coughing, and nausea. And they just, listen, listen, check this out. They were just there doing surveying. What about all the people that were still uh, in the town? The group spent a day working from their hotel before their symptoms quickly resolved. Um, then it said the symptoms re resolved for most of the team members later the same day in the afternoon, everyone resumed work on survey data collection within 24 hours. If you're in that area, man, I would just, I would, I mean, some people can't leave, man. You, you, you just, you can't leave. They don't have any, no place to go, man. What are you, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do, man? Everything should be, all the federal resources should be down in those areas, you know? We're so focused, and this this administration is so focused on other things, man. They need to take care of the Americans. They need to take care of home. It is it is just bad, man. It is just bad, man. They don't they don't care, man. They do not care. All these chemicals these trains be carrying, man. You don't know what's on that train. So if you if you're near the railroad, if you're if you close to a railroad matter of fact um we have train uh, in my area we have the norfolk norfolk southern train always riding through here man i don't know what they what they're carrying you know but i got my i got some i got some hazmat suits and all that i got some masks i got some masks just to be on the safe side i got a lot of bottled water you know I'm not going to be sitting up here in a train derail and then you see this big plume. You don't know what you're going to do. You may have to get out of there, man. You might have to put your suit on, get your mask, and, and get your little bug out bag and get up out of there, man. Seriously. This is becoming a common thing. They need to launch a uh, probe into, this, into these train derailments, man. It's like every day, every week, you're, you're hearing about a train derailment, man. So... Um, my advice, man, make sure you have bottled water, man. If you can get yourself some hazmat suits, um, gas masks, you know, 
You want you want the gas mask that have that chemical biological um, filters in it, man. I got a couple of them in here, but um, I wish I could show you which ones I have. But I'll um, once I find the uh, package, I'll leave the link on where you can purchase a couple of these gas masks, man, or look them up on the internet, man, because man, this is bad. All right, guys, I'm out. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.